Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. Today we're going to talk about this baby right here and the many, many uses for it. A lot of people have thermostats, they think of them as a great hunting tool. They are so much more than that. We use this thing religiously. Uh, yes, it comes in handy for hunting, but the, I, I use it less for hunting than I do anything else. The only time I ever take this into woods hunting is on bear hunts, and honestly, I barely ever run it while I'm hunting, but I use it a lot while I am out uh, on bear hunts. But uh, we'll talk about that for a minute. But thermostat simple they're cheap i'll have a link down below to this one they also have a new version which has got a silent start not that this is loud but it's got a silent start button on there so it's really quiet when you turn it on and fire it up uh, it comes with a belt clip i don't use it i just use this little hook or, or, or paracord on there because i actually just stick this in my pack uh, usually I have it in my pocket of my pack and I just put a strap through that to hold it so it can't go anywhere or I just stick this right in the cargo pocket of my pants or in the back pocket of my, my pants. So that right there just is an extra little security thing. But they do have one with a belt clip now uh, that's pretty sweet. I don't like the one where you got to put it in a case. It works but uh, it's just kind of a, a pain to mess with sometimes. So this just a simple thermosel here but on hunting trips it, you take this you turn it on like that you, you you know start it up fire it up we put a pad in there and you set this thing on the bottom of your tree stand or in your blind this will keep a 10 to 15 foot zone of the bugs black flies mosquitoes all that stuff away from you it, it works like a champ it is supposed to be odorless although it is not odorless i promise you you can smell them um but uh and probably that's probably the reason i don't use it when i'm hunting even uh, even on bear hunts i very seldom use it when i'm actually hunting when i'm when i'm at a stand hunting if i live somewhere in uh alabama georgia southern places where you're hunting in uh, extreme heat in the beginning of the season and dealing with bugs maybe then I would use it but personally I, I prefer to just use bug spray but I do believe this is a very very valuable tool so when I we, we're on bear hunts with this yes it's always in my pack I, even though I don't use it when I'm hunting a lot but once we have an animal down on the ground and I have to gut that animal out or from skinning it or boning it out right there, I can take this thing out of my pack, turn it on, fire it up, and set it right on the ground next to us. And while I'm working on that animal, I have a huge bubble of no bugs around us. For pictures, when I'm doing my own pictures of that animal with tripods and setting my camera up and uh, my little portable tripod and back and forth and doing all that, there's no bugs. I don't have flies in my face, anything. It just makes life there really easy, um, really sweet and simple to do. Uh, we use this at home all the time. When we have guests over, we want to eat outside. We live in the woods. Look around. You think there's no mosquitoes or black flies here? You're crazy. We come out in the summertime and we want to eat outside. We take this and we set it right on a table out here. We sit down, we eat, we enjoy it. We're going to come out at night and sit out here. We put this out uh, and it's there. If we have guests over, and we are opening and closing doors all the time in the house and people coming inside and outside. We will take two of, we have three of them total. There's three of these exactly the same that we have here. I have each of them set up the same. They got a little piece of rubber band or inner tube on there so that I can carry a spare pad. The tank that goes in here lasts about 10 to 12 hours, but these are about four hour, five hour pads. So by I keeping another one spare right on there, I don't have to hunt through my pack to find it. So that's why you see that rubber uh, inner tube on there. They're all set up this way. And uh, but we'll take this when we have people going in and out of the house a lot and I will turn this on and I will set it right next to the door on our, our sunroom. So it just covers that whole area of the door. So now when I got my brother's littler kids and things like that and you know, they're over and they're opening that door and holding it and calling for the dogs and they're running back and forth and stuff like that. This thing is protecting that stuff from getting in the house. So we use it there a lot. On our camping trips, we use this religiously. It's running almost all the time. If it's daytime and we're in and out of the camper all the time, it sits inside the camper right in a door, right there and again protects the doorway of the camper as people are going in and out constantly when we come outside we're outside eating and hanging out and watching movies out there this thing is running it keeps the bugs away it gives you that good zone of stuff to do uh, if you are hunting early season someplace and you are going to have to bone deer out or gut deer like I did what I do with the bears same thing you can fire this up and have it right next to you and not have to worry about any of that stuff around you. So, so many different uses for this. When I'm in the garage right now, if I gotta go out there and change lawnmower blades and things like that, uh, my garage is open 99% of the time. There's a lot of mosquitoes and black flies that get into that garage. And if I go out there at night to work on something, I'm going to get hit with mosquitoes and bugs out there. I take this thing with me, turn it on, I set it right on my workbench. I have a huge zone of safety where I don't have to put bug spray on. Nothing's bothering me. Thermocell units are incredible. There is a link down below for you. You can get the, and Amazon has a great deals on the replacement tanks and the stuff like that, so you can buy them. But these things are super, super valuable. 
you can get the the more expensive like the 30 something dollar one with the belt clip uh, and the silent start but this not loud you know it's not going to make any difference in the woods this one is literally like you know 20 bucks or a little less than 20 bucks that's why we have these because we got three of them um and uh, but they just they're flawless and they're just so valuable they do make lantern styles and other thermocell units that you can set out at home we don't have any of those since i already have three of these and they're so easy and compact and just throw them anywhere they work like a champ and they're dirt cheap so there's an, a tip for you here even if you don't use one hunting it's a super valuable tool that we actually use of, of the hundred percent of time we use this 10% of it is hunting but yet we use it 90% of the time for so many other things around the house and setting up and doing stuff so there you go quick little tip for you on the thermosol and why it's so valuable thanks for watching bye